What is up guys, we are back with the third episode in the Making a Rune Dragon alt series. If you are unfamiliar with this series, we first created this alt account to achieve 77 Slayer to kill Brutal Black Dragons as a way to make money on an alt account and we achieved that in 5 videos. I then asked you guys if you wanted me to make the Slayer alt account into a Rune Dragon alt and you guys voted with a resounding yes. If you have not seen the Slayer alt series or the first two Rune Dragon episodes, definitely check those out, they are in the description. We have already completed phase 1, 2, and 3 which had us get some prereq skills, complete a ton of quests and also get the fire cape. We're now in phase four, which will have us get a bunch of prereqs for future quests. We will then complete those quests and we will hopefully end phase four getting Barrow's Gloves and Piety. In the last video, we unlocked Fossil Island and I said I would start doing birdhouse runs as often as possible. Yeah, I didn't do a single one. I am now going to start this video with doing my first birdhouse runs to get my hunter up. And I'm also going to do my first tree run on this account to get my farming level up. I need to get 30 farming, 27 hunter, 40 mining, and 30 rune crafting. I will then do 10 or so quests and unlock the Varrock Easy Diary. Then we will go back to gaining some major skills to finish completing the quests in phase 4 for Barrow's Gloves and Piety. I'm trying to break things up by skilling and doing quests because last video I just did a bunch of quests and even with the help of Slayer music, I was getting burnt out. Let's start with our first farm and birdhouse run. Just finished our farm run, started our birdhouse run, 10 hunter. Second birdhouse done 11 hunter third birdhouse third level hopefully this keeps up fourth birdhouse fourth level 14 hunter we can now do oak birdhouses so on the next trip i'll go ahead and do that and then we should be getting a lot better xp it'll definitely jump up hopefully we can continue to get these quick hunter levels with these bird runs i think you can do one every hour so if we try to do a few a day that would be the best option but for now i'm going to go ahead and go get 40 mining at the mother loan mine just got 40 mining it did not take long at all we can now do gold ore i'm now going to get my hunter and farming level up i actually have not done a farm run or birdhouse run because it's the next day so i'll go ahead and do that now 21 farming 22 farming 23 farming 24 farming wow we got like four levels just in five trees so that's insane so we'll get to 30 in no time 15 hunter we are now doing oak birdhouses so our hunter level will go up even faster 16 hunter i know i just did a farm run and a birdhouse run but i was actually away for five days so i have not played in five days so i'm actually going to do another farm run and it's going to be the first time that we actually have the trees grown so we're going to get lots of xp from that and then i will also do a birdhouse run 25 farming there it is 99 strength that is an awesome achievement that is actually my first 99 on my main account and my second in the history of me playing this game. That is sweet. Also, 90% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel, so if you are not subscribed, go ahead and consider subscribing right now. And also drop a like if you're enjoying this video so far. 26 farming, one more level until we can do fruit trees. 17 farming, 18 hunter. I can't get over how much XP these are. If you guys don't know, the lower levels of hunter are incredibly annoying to do and super click intensive for no reason. So getting these low hunter levels out of the way pretty easily and pretty passive is awesome. Surprise, surprise, another hunter level, 19. 20 hunter, seven more levels until we can complete all the quests in this phase. We are we're actually going to do another farm and birdhouse run. I just fell asleep and woke up, so that's why there has been three back to back. I'm sorry for that. Maybe I'm just really putting off rune crafting because I do have to get to, I think, 30 rune crafting next. But during this farm run, we're going to be able to plant our first fruit trees. So I went ahead and got the apple saplings. So I'm excited for that, and our XP is definitely going to go up. 27 farming, so we can now plant apple trees, which we already have in our inventory. I'm not going to show you guys every single level I get because I feel like that gets a little repetitive. So I'll show you guys what my farming level is by the end of this farm run. 21 hunter, almost to 24 hunter, which will get us to the willow birdhouse runs, and that'll pick up our hunter levels. And we're also at 28 farming. We planted all the fruit trees. We almost got to 29 farming. So by the next time we do a fruit tree and tree run, then we will get to 30 farming. Now for something that I have been dreading, rune crafting. We are actually going to do earth runes by Varrock. So I have a smoke battle staff for my fire and air runes, and then I have law runes in my inventory, so I can teleport to Varrock. It's my understanding, keep in mind I rarely do rune crafting, so I'm, it's my understanding that earth runes are done up here, somewhere by the lumber yard. So let's see if we can find it. Oh, it's right there. So what we are going to do is enter the earth rune area, go ahead and make some earth runes. Look at that, 10 rune crafting, and then we will teleport to Varrock and start the process again and continue to do this until we get to fire runes. So I lagged, so I didn't get it recorded, but we just got 
14 rune crafting, which means we can now do fire runes. So I'm going to go buy a bunch of rings of dueling and probably do fire runes until 30 because lava runes, I think it's a little more click intensive. So I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do fire runes. With this, we will get 20 rune crafting. 20 rune crafting, that's awesome. We can now do body runes. We won't be doing that. But at 25 rune crafting, I will go ahead and show you guys that because then we can get the next pouch. I believe it's the medium pouch. So I have to go kill some monsters in the Abyss minigame area. And then I'll get the medium pouch. And then I'll come back to fire runes and complete getting 30 rune crafting. I'll try to do birdhouse runs and tree runs during this time. I'll keep checking the timers with rune light. And then I will hopefully get the hunter and farming level at the same time. So then we can start doing quests. According to the rune light tracker, my birdhouses are ready. So I think I will actually get to 24 hunter, which actually will make me be able to do the willow birdhouses. So I brought the oak logs just in case I don't get to 24. But I'm actually going to do each of the birdhouses and then go back through them and put willow houses instead of the oak houses. Because then I'll get better XP and I don't have to waste this opportunity to put them there. It sucks that I have to empty all the birdhouses and then go back to them and put the willow ones there. But if I don't do this, then I'm just wasting this extra XP. With the third birdhouse emptied, I got 24 hunter. So we can now do willow birdhouses. So I just have to go back to those two. Just got 25 rune crafting. We can now use the medium pouches. So I'm going to go ahead and kill some monsters in the abyss to get the medium rune pouch and hopefully that'll speed up our rune crafting and we can get to 30 rune crafting in no time all right i am now ready to go into the abyss and kill the monsters i just put on some gear that i don't really care about in case i lose it if a pk comes and i also brought some monkfish because i'm not sure how long i'll be there but i'll be back when i get the medium pouch just got the medium pouch that took about five minutes i don't know if that's lucky or not but I will take it. Now we're gonna go back to doing rune crafting. For those of you that don't know, the medium pouch actually degrades, so I will have to get it fixed by going to the abyss and talk to the dark mage in the center every time that it degrades. So that'll be annoying, but it'll definitely be worth it for faster rune crafting XP. I completely scuffed it, but 30 rune crafting. I'll go ahead and use these on the rune altar real quick. But now I will get 27 hunter with the birdhouse runs. They are ready. And then I will get 30 farming with the regular tree run. They're not ready for another 30 minutes. So I think I'll actually do some wood cutting because I do have to get to 45 wood cutting eventually. So I'll do that until the farm run. And then once I complete the farm run, I will go ahead and start the first 10 or so quests of phase four. 27 hunter. We are so close to being able to do the 10 or so quests now. We only need to get 30 farming. And I think there's only around 15 minutes left on the timer so let's go do a little bit of wood cutting to kill time we got one wood cutting level we are now 40 wood cutting and it's actually perfect timing because the regular trees are now ready there is 30 farming now it is time to do the 10 or so quests i'm not gonna lie i kind of enjoyed doing the skilling because i was doing a ton of quests so i'm not super looking forward to doing the quest but getting back in the grind will be nice first quest done two quest points 141 quests also got some xp and we are now 38 thieving. I am so annoyed. I started the contact quest and I died in the maze because I wasn't paying attention. And my kitten was literally almost a cat. And I need a cat for the Dave's portion of the RFD quest. And now I had to get a new kitten because it just disappeared after I died. I didn't even know that was a thing. So now I have a new cat and I have to train it for another three hours. Completed the contact quest. We did get some thieving XP. We are now 40 thieving. That is awesome. We can also rub this lamp and it'll give us some combat xp we're gonna use it on magic chompy bird quest completed two quest points we got 42 cooking that's awesome and we now have 144 quest points so close to barrels gloves i accidentally clicked away but i just finished the pirates pete rfd portion and i got 28 fishing i actually just did the varrock easy diary that means i get the varrock armor and access to cheaper battle staffs also get this lamp, which I'll use on agility. 2,500 agility XP. We now have 39 agility. Okay, back to questing. Just finished the Lumbridge Guide portion of the RFD. Just completed the Scratch portion of RFD. Did we get any levels? Blah, blah, blah. Don't care. Did we get any levels? Nope, no levels. Wow, I just completed that quest. It actually took like two seconds. I was expecting it to take a couple minutes. I'm now going to see if I can actually use the Tier of Gothics so I can get some XP in my lowest skill which would be Herblor. I just completed the Tears of Guthix minigame, and I got, I think, around 3k XP, and that got me from 23 Herblor all the way to 27. Just completed the Watchtower quest, four quest points. That quest was super annoying to do. I did get some magic levels, though, so that's nice. We now have Fire Blast, and we also have 152 quest points. Just completed Eagle's Peak, got 2,500 
Hunter XP, there is 29 Hunter. Just finished the Slug Menace quest, got a ton of quest XP. 32 Runecrafting, 41 Thieving, awesome. I can also now wear Proselyte Armor, which is awesome. And also, my cat grew in this time. I actually put it in the bank in case I died. But now we can do the Evil Dave section of RFD. Just finished the Evil Dave portion of RFD. Got 7,000 cooking XP. Did we get a cooking level? We now have 44 cooking and a Hellcat. All right, unfortunately, this video will be too long if we complete the rest of phase four. So during this video, we completed 11 quests, the Varrock Easy Diary, got 30 farming, 27 hunter, 40 mining, and 30 runecrafting. We will complete the rest of phase four in the next episode by completing 15 more quests. Some of them will take hours to complete, and in order to do these quests, we will need to train some of our skills up quite a bit. When we complete phase four, we will have successfully achieved two of the best upgrades for our rune dragon alt, Heidi and Barrow's Gloves. I am super excited with the progress with this account so far, and I also want to thank you guys for supporting the series so much. In the last episode, we got 50 likes. Let's try to get 80 likes this time, so if you haven't liked the video yet, go ahead and drop a like. If you want to continue to see these videos and all of my other content, go ahead and subscribe right now and help us reach 5,000 subscribers. If you have any suggestions for this series or another video, go ahead and leave a comment, and if you want to hang out in game or PVM, join my clan chat Heart Blitz. We're looking for more active members and trying to get the CC popping again. If you want, also join the Discord in the description. Thanks guys for watching, stay tuned for my next video.